setting up Pitcher. So let's look now at a session where we're actually using Pitcher. You're going to see that we have this on a track and we have a vocal audio file going through it and then harmonization being controlled by MIDI. So in this particular situation where we're using MIDI to control the pitch, that's really what we're going to look at setting up right now. There's a number of different uses for this plugin. One of them real-time pitch correction, one of them harmonization. And so as we look at these different roles that it plays, we'll look at the ways you set it up in each of those situations. So in this tutorial, primarily harmonization. So first of all, let's just play this track. You can see what's happening as this audio goes in. Once we play it and get through a line or two of the vocal, I'll stop it and we'll look at how to set that up. So you can see the notes that are highlighted here on the pitcher interface are also the same notes that the vocal is now harmonized with. So as we play on the MIDI keyboard, it'll light up these particular notes. Any audio that's passed through that that has a pitch will then be harmonized to meet those different notes. So let's look at this. So first of all, you'll see up here in our pattern, we've got two instruments which really have MIDI going on here. We have this. And this is harmless. This is a synthesizer, and that's the primary melodic chords you're hearing in the background. Matching that exactly, really just a copy and a paste, and then a transposition so that it's in a different range, is this track, MIDI Out. So you can create a MIDI out by going to Channels, Add It, MIDI Out. So that looks like this. This really just allows you to have input onto your sequencer of a MIDI keyboard which then you can send to different places. In this case, we're really interested in the port number. That's the only thing I changed on this. And in fact, when you're working with this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the different port line up with Pitcher itself. Come on to Pitcher, port one, down here, MIDI number one. So this is the MIDI input port one. We can actually click and drag on this. And as I click and drag, you'll see that changes number. So you can almost instantly change that as long as it lines up with this, then the MIDI coming down this track, so say if we want to play this, we can click on this to be the active track, and as we play MIDI notes, I'm playing on my keyboard now, you'll see that those notes light up. So any notes that I play now tells Pitcher to harmonize to that. One other thing here, you need to make sure you have MIDI push down and harmonize, and I prefer also to have octaves down. So this is my basically default setting when I'm harmonizing. There's a few other things we can do, and we'll get into this as we go through different examples of this, but primarily check out the panning. So each of the different voices, up to four voices, all get panned in different directions. So as you pan them out, you'll hear some of them in the left speaker, some of them in the right speaker, etc. We can change the stereo spread, so that's how wide it is in the actual left to right and also change the formants. We're not gonna look at formants right now, but this keeps a more natural sound in some ways. If you turn this off, you'll get a much more Mickey Mouse sound. That's the basics right now. As we get into this and look at fine tuning vocals and other instruments with intonation, you're gonna see just how cool this pitcher tool is, but it's not the only tool that's new in FL Studio. And there's a couple other things we're gonna look at as we get in there, but definitely a great tool. So now that you have that set up, Let's actually look at the mixer for a moment. You'll see this whole channel strip that we recorded. We have one pitcher here. The first pitcher is actually just doing a pass at pitch correction. That means anything that is sung through there, it's locking into a pitch, it's not harmonizing. We have a fruity bass boost, which is actually turned off right now. And then we have the harmonizer, 
So this is actually what's adding the pitch to it. And then the new fruity convolver, which is adding reverb or space around it. So all of these together really tying that sound into what you're hearing in that final product. Okay, so that's the basics of setting it up. Let's now look in the next tutorial at how to really fine tune some of this and we'll play some more examples.